Hey guys, it's Peace and I want to welcome you to my channel, A Piece by Peace. A piece by piece where I talk about my journey and growing my small business, Deloitte, and all the tips and tricks I've learned along the way. Today, we will be talking about one of my favorite part of owning a business, and that is business essentials. Business supplies. Oh, get into it. I don't know. I don't know. There's just something about spending money, going on a shopping spree, and buying a whole bunch of supplies obviously for a good reason that just gives girl boss it gives uh i'm a business owner however however you can get carried away with this very quickly and end up breaking the bank which is obviously not what you want so i curated a list of supplies that you absolutely need to start off the things on this list are things that i constantly use at the current level of my business which is very very small so they're not crazy extravagant but they do help me in different areas of my business such as marketing actually shipping out orders and conducting overall operational and administrative tasks so with all that being said let's get through this list okay so this is probably one of the most important things that you'll need for your business you absolutely need a laptop or an ipad i'm sure this is pretty self-explanatory but you need a laptop or a tablet to do things like register your business sign up for different softwares that i'll mention later on in the video and create your website especially if you plan on having an online business while cell phones are amazing they simply can't access the full features of different platforms and websites and not having a laptop or iPad can significantly slow down your progress with that being said next on the list of business essentials is a website we live in a digital age so it's important to have a little nook a little piece of the web <laughs> where people can go and look up stuff about you and have a place where they can go if they have questions about your business and uh, <laughs> no social media does not count as your website um, for one, if you're using platforms such as Instagram or Facebook as a website, it limits the amount of people that you'll be exposing yourself to because your potential customers will need to have a profile with these platforms in order to access your business page, which isn't necessarily fair because not everyone is on social media. Having a website gives more people access to you in general. Additionally, websites like Shopify keep track of your inventory, assist you with transactions, and give you deals on shipping labels, which is so much more than what a social media platform can do for you. So, website is definitely a business essential. Speaking of shipping labels, you'll need something to print your labels out with. Your first option is a thermal printer that comes with one of those little uh, six, four by six labels that you can stick onto the back of your poly mailers and are waterproof. I don't think they need ink and the only thing you'll probably have to keep repurchasing is the paper. And I think this is a great investment if you're getting orders like, but Odds are, like the majority of people, you're getting orders here and there occasionally, but nothing too crazy. Which is why I personally just stick to my printer. I use packing tape just to stick the label on the outside of the poly mailer, so I don't find it necessary to purchase a dedicated label printer when my printer already gets the job done. So if you have neither a printer or a label maker, you'll need to invest in one or the other. But me personally? Me personally. If I were in the position where I had to choose between one or the other, I would absolutely choose a printer, hands down. Especially if you're honestly just dipping your toe to see and you're not entirely sure if this is something that you want to do long term, a printer is the better investment because, you know, you can always use that outside of just running your small business. While with a label maker, you're sort of just stuck with it as it is. So a cheap laser printer is 100% the way to go. And who knows, if your business ends up being super, super successful, you can always use that money to invest in a thermal printer since you'll probably need one anyway at that point. Staying on the topic of shipping orders, you need a scale. 
I use a cheap little scale that I think I found off of Amazon and all you need it for is to weigh the packages that you're sending out because the weight of the order directly affects the cost of shipping if you didn't already know that. This is the scale that I got. Um, it's upside down. It's blue because there's like a protective film over it and I just haven't really gotten around to taking it off. It's a pretty simple straightforward scale. You turn it on here, the numbers appear here, press here to change the unit. It has grams, uh, kilograms, pounds, ounces, fluid ounces, and milliliter, I think. <laughs> So now let's talk about what actually goes inside your package. I wouldn't say this is necessarily essential, but it does enhance the overall experience of your customers receiving your package. So I'm talking about things like business cards, thank you cards, maybe even a coupon for their next order or to share with a friend. Um, little freebies like keychains, lashes, lip glosses. You can get really creative with this and I've seen some of the cutest packaging ever that have made me want to order whatever it is that person is selling just so I can have the experience of receiving that package. But Again, this does cost a little bit more money and can slightly increase the cost of shipping, so yeah. I feel like as long as your customer is actually getting what they ordered, it's fine. Everything else is just to spice it up a little bit, so. I wouldn't really consider this a business essential. Another thing that I don't think is entirely necessary, and this might be an unpopular opinion, don't hate me for this, but they are poly mailers. Um, and I'll be honest, when I was shopping for all my business essentials, I completely forgot to order poly mailers. And I didn't realize that I forgot to order some until I went to go send out my first few packages. Of course, I had the little Ziploc baggies to put the product, the cards, and everything inside of, but I didn't actually have the mailers to put that inside of and put the label on. But then I realized the post office, UPS, and FedEx all have their own poly mailers that are free. So why spend money on something that I can get? again for free and don't get me wrong i love poly mailers i love packaging in general but i just feel like as a business just starting out i want to spend the money that i'm earning on things that are absolutely necessary and not just on mailers that people are going to toss out after they open their package now going back to the essentials you'll need different software or apps to really help you with the upkeep of your business i could probably make another video related to this topic to go more in depth but the top five software for me as of right now that i find beneficial are one shopify like I mentioned before, they help me keep track of my inventory, uh, purchase shipping labels, and a whole bunch of other backend stuff that I wouldn't be able to do on my own. A software like Canva or PicMonkey. I pay for PicMonkey and I have created my own logo, designed my thank you cards, this is where I create my Pinterest posts. So much goes on here. I use it for almost everything, even YouTube. Next, of course, is social media. Apps like TikTok are my favorite. I get to connect with different people, show my product, talk about it. I absolutely love it. Miro. It's basically like a digital whiteboard and I use it to plan the type of content I want to post, uh, create different to-do lists. I think I even designed how I wanted the layout of my website to look here. It's a really, really helpful tool for anyone who likes to have a visual of everything that they need to do. Lastly, I also do use Google Table to help me plan um, a whole bunch of things. Um, this is where I plan and script my content. I also keep SEO keywords here. And I feel like overall it just helps me be organized. And of course, things like a business banking account, um, emailing software, stuff like that are also essential. But those to me were sort of already kind of a given. But if you guys want me to make a video on all the different types of apps I do use, apps and softwares that I do use, just let me know and I can make it happen. Lastly, I found it necessary to have things like a ring light, a camera, and a backdrop. 
for certain things like recording my TikToks, taking pictures for my website, and pictures for Instagram. Of course, there are alternatives to these things. So instead of a ring light, you can use natural lighting. Instead of an actual camera, you can use your cell phone. And instead of a backdrop, you can use a plain wall or a background with minimal distractions. But you will need some variation of these things to create good content for your business. Hiring someone is also an option, but it can get very expensive, especially when you factor into play that in order to keep up as a business, you need to be constantly pushing out content to show to your audience. So yeah guys that's pretty much all the things that i use to run my business at the level it's at right now i'm sure as i continue to grow my necessities will change over time as well oh my god so i forgot to mention some things i got a virtual business address where basically i pay the owner of a co-working space in my area a flat rate fee i think i pay like 20 bucks a month to basically rent out his address and use it as my business address so whenever i ship out orders the return address is not listed as my actual home address is listed as my business address i think that layer of protection is really important because you literally don't know who you're sending packages to and you don't want just anyone having access to your home address do you think that's essential if you know your security is important to you <laughs> Um, during the video, I did briefly mention that having a bank account is important. Um, so yes, I do consider that an essential because you do need a separate place to keep your money so you can keep track of everything, especially when tax season approaches. But in addition to having a bank account, you also need different methods of collecting payments. Even if you are an online business, you can also still sell at places like pop-up shops. And when you go to pop-up shops, you'll need um, different ways for people to pay you. I do have apps like Cash App, Venmo, and Zelle, as well as a square chip reader that I use to charge people via credit card. Another thing that I did forget to mention is storage. So if you're running an online business and you're not selling digital products like ebooks, you will need a place to store your inventory. If you're just starting out, I don't think it's necessary to go out and, you know, invest in an entire storage unit because they can get very expensive depending on where you live. For me, all I use is a simple bookshelf that I found off of Facebook Marketplace and that's where I keep my inventory because I really do not have a lot of products right now. As I grow and sell more, I may outgrow my space and then that's when I think the best time would be to invest in a storage unit. But as of right now, as a beginner, I don't think that is essential. All you really need is a bookshelf or two or little cubbies. But beyond that, I really don't think I use anything else. Um, I'm really blanking right now. But if I remember anything else, I'll add it in the comment section down below. I hope this gives you guys a realistic look into what you'll actually need when you first start a business. Again, this is all a journey and all of these things are stuff that I'm learning along the way. So if you guys are also business owners and there are tools that I forgot to mention that you consider to be essential to running your business, please feel free to drop a comment down below. That's all from me today, guys, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye!